Hi, today we're going to take a look at compound interest. Compound interest is just one, another section of exponential growth and decay. Um, they're very similar in how we approach the whole process, and our formulas are very similar. So compound interest is basically with money, and it's going to grow. So with that, growing means uh, a growth rate. So let's compare this with our top formula here for exponential growth. Notice that they both say y equals. This has an A, that has a P. We said this was our starting point. P means our principal amount or what we start with. So they both mean the same thing. We got one plus, we got one plus, we got an R, we got an R. T and T, the only difference is we've got these ends. Those ends mean how many times it's being broken down throughout that year. Um, in this case, we're gonna talk about annually, quarterly, daily. Um, it could be weekly, bi-weekly, bi-monthly, uh, and so on. So. Like exponential growth and decay problems, we could also have word problems. Here we extracted all the important information. We're gonna invest $1,000 at 6% interest and we're gonna look at it after five years and say, how much money do we have if we compound it annually, quarterly, or daily? Compound it, meaning that end. So let's plug our numbers in and see what happens. Y equals, we start with $1,000. Our rate is 6%, but as a decimal, we say 0 0.06. We compound it annually, which is once a year. Our time is after five years, and again, one year. Now it's just a matter of order of operation, our PEMDAS, in order to simplify this. So we divide, you're left with 0 0.06 plus one, giving us 1.06. Raise this all to the fifth power. When we raise that, we are left with 1.338. Take that, multiply it by 1,000, and we have $1,338. All right, not bad for doing zero work, having an extra $1,000 laying around five years later, an extra 300 and some dollars. What would happen if we now compound this quarterly? So instead of this N being a one, what if we change it to a four. How does that change things? Okay, well, uh, 0 0.06 divided by four is going to give us 0 0.015. Add one to that. Let's raise that to the 20th power and then multiply by a thousand. When we raise it to the next point, we're going to be left with 1.346. Multiply by a thousand. And we have $1,346. Just because we multiplied it by, or we compounded quarterly, we now got a f extra $8 out of this whole gig. All right, that's, I guess, cool. Uh, let's see what happens if we compound this daily. So instead of four, daily means 365. That's going to change things. Got some big numbers going on here. So 365 two times 5 is going to give us 1825. There is our exponent. Inside 0 .6, 0 0.06 divided by 365 is going to be 0 0.000164. And then we got to add 1 to that. We get that. And then our $1,000 that we start with. Order of operations, raise it to the exponent, and then multiply it. We are left with 1.349, multiply by the thousand, 1349. So if we were to compound this daily, 365 days out of the year, we are now at $1,349 opposed to these. So what's a better deal? Definitely compounding it daily. Uh, did you really gain a lot of extra money after five years? It's laying around doing nothing. Why the hell not? Um, this is compound interest, uh, just like exponential growth and decay.